Good morning, and welcome to this, our celebration of the Holy Mass for the Feast of Corpus Christi. I'm Monsignor Michael Champ, pastor and bishop of the Old Catholic Church of Antioch in Tucson. Let's begin with our opening hymn, One Bread, One Body. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless, and we, though many, throughout the earth, we are one body in this one Lord, Gentile or Jew, servant or free. Woman or man no more, one bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we, though many, throughout the earth. We are one body in the one Lord. Many the gifts, many the works, one in the Lord of all. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless, and we, though many, throughout the earth, we are one body in the one Lord. Our entrance antiphon this morning comes to us from Psalm 81. The Lord fed his people with the finest wheat and honey, and their hunger was satisfied. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us begin as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In order to celebrate our sacred mystery today, let us first call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of division and sin. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. In Adam's sin, the gates of heaven were closed, and we were made one with God and heirs to the kingdom of heaven in our baptism. We are thankful for our redemption. May Almighty God forgive you your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now begin the Liturgy of the Word. We pray today for the willingness to make present in our world the love of Christ, shown to us in the Holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Holy Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of you in this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. During the time of affliction in the desert, God took care of his people and gave them the basics they needed, bread and water. Meditating on the desert experience of his people, Moses indicated that God intended more than just taking care of their physical needs. Hear now these words from the ancient book of Deuteronomy. 
Moses said to the people, Remember how the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert for 40 years, tested you by affliction, and to discover whether or not you would keep his commandments. Therefore he let you be afflicted with hunger, and then he fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers. He did this in order to show you that one does not live by bread alone, but from every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents, scorpions, and parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock, and fed you with, in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today comes from Psalm 147. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Join me. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed you with your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he has filled you. He has sent forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. He has not made known his ordinance to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. In our second reading today, Paul admonishes the Christians of Corinth not to take part in pagan sacrifices. Our Passover sacrifice is the body and blood of Christ. In biblical language, body and blood indicate the whole person and the event that they signify, namely Jesus Christ, giving himself in meritorious death, which we share when we receive the Holy Eucharist. Partaking communion with the Lord also means we are in communion with our fellow Christians. Hear now these words from Paul. Brothers and sisters, therefore, my beloved, avoid idolatry. I am speaking as to sensible people. Judged for yourselves what I am saying. Is not the cup of blessing that we bless a participation in the blood of Christ? Is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake in the one loaf. Look at Israel according to the flesh. Are not those who eat the sacrifices participants in the altar? So what am I saying? that meat sacrifices, sacrificed to idols is anything, or that an idol is anything? No, I mean that what they sacrifice, they do so to demons, not to God. And I do not want you to become participants with demons. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and also the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealous anger? Are we stronger than he? If an unbeliever says to you, this is offered in sacrifice, do not eat it on account of the one who called attention to it, and on account of conscience. For whatever you eat or drink, whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to Jews or Greeks or the Church of God, just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. This too is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us prepare now for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Join me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, so I may worthy proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. 
A reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the living bread that has come down from heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. There is perhaps no greater disagreement among Christians than that of the doctrine of transubstantiation. Even among those who practice the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, there is some disagreement as to what actually takes place in the consecration ceremony of the Mass. To Catholics, this is clear. Transubstantiation simply means that the substance of the bread and wine are instantly changed into the substance of the body and blood of Christ. The exterior accidents of the bread and wine remain, but the substance is, in fact, the body of our Savior, Jesus Christ. When we receive the body of Christ into our own bodies at Holy Communion, we become one with him in a very personal and sincere way. He lives within us, along with the Holy Spirit, to guide us in our activities, in what we say, in what we think. This is the glory of the body and blood of Christ. This is the wonderful occasion that we celebrate today on the Feast of Corpus Christi, Latin for Body of Christ. When we partake of the Holy Sacrament and take our Lord Jesus Christ within our bodies, we become one with him in such a singular manner that no other joining of human beings is as close or meaningful. That means that we are the body of Christ. And as all participants in the Holy Eucharist, and all believers in the Holy Eucharist, we compose, as Paul told us, the living body of Christ, as we term it, the mystical body of Christ. So when we go forth into the world, we carry with us the sanctity of Christ himself. As all people are wont to go forth on their daily, on their daily lives and act as their free will dictates, as Christians we must remember that we are representatives of a sacred trust, that being the actual body and blood of Jesus Christ in the world. So we must act accordingly. We must treat others as Jesus treated others. We must say to others the things like Jesus said to others. And we must think of others in a holy and loving way. If we do this, then we truly understand what it means to be followers of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Let us join together now and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the substance of the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine help us to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. I will wash my hands among the innocents and encompass your altar, O Lord that might hear the voice of your praise and tell of all your wondrous works. I have loved, O Lord, the beauty of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Take not away my soul, O God, with the wicked or my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities and filthy gifts. But as for me, I have walked in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. In the churches I will bless you, O Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my guilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his church. Lord God, may the bread and cup we offer bring your church the unity and peace they signify. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
it is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the true and eternal priest who established this unending sacrifice. He offered himself as victim for our deliverance, and he taught us to make this offering in his memory. As we eat his body, which he gave for us, we grow in strength. And as we drink his blood, which he poured out for us, we are washed clean. Now with angels and archangels and the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Father, we acknowledge your greatness, all your actions, show your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own likeness to set us and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped us all to seek and find you. Again and again, you offered us a covenant and, through the prophets, taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so love the world that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to those in sorrow joy. In fulfillment of your will he gave himself up to death, but by rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as his first gift to those who believe, to complete his work on earth and bring us the fullness of grace. Father, may this Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings, that it can become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the great mystery which he left us as an everlasting covenant. He always loved those who were his own in this world, and when the time came for him to be glorified by you, as Heavenly Father, he showed the depth of his love. While every supper, he took bread into his sacred hands, and looking up to you, as Heavenly Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup filled with wine again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption. We recall Christ's death, his descent among the dead, his resurrection, and his ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon this sacrifice which you have given to your church, and by your Holy Spirit gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the mystical body of Christ, a living sacrifice of praise. Lord, remember those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially our religious leaders and patriarchs. Bernd, our patriarch in Utrecht, Francis, Bishop of Rome, for me, your humble servant, and for bishops and clergy everywhere. Remember those who take part in this offering and those who seek you with a sincere heart. 
Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Father, in your mercy, grant also to us, your children, to enter into our heavenly inheritance in the company of the Virgin Mary and your apostles and saints. Then in your kingdom, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall sing your glory with every creature through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Let us join together now and pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and shelter from all needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of our church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodiat anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen. Sanguis Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, custodiat anima meam, in vitam eternam, amen.
Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will live in me and die in him, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us your body and blood in the Holy Eucharist as a sign that even now we share in your life. May we come to possess it completely in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. Lord, grant your people your protection and grace. And may all Christian people both love, know, and cherish the heavenly gifts that they have received. Give them health of mind and body, perfect love for one another, and make them always faithful to you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has ended. Let us go forth now and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn today, The Church's One Foundation. The Church's One Foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bore her and for her life he died. The church shall never perish her dear Lord to defend, to guide, sustain, and cherish is with her to the end. Though there may be those who hate her and false sons in her pale, against foe or traitor she ever shall prevail. Mid toil and tribulation, 
and tumult of her war. She waits the consummation of peace forevermore, till with the vision glorious her longing eyes are blessed, and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. God love you all, and thank you for being with us today.